getting real, you can look at my face. Look at my eyes, you can tell I don't play. Money hungry, yeah, I gotta get a taste. Road runner, watch them get on my way. Street smart, that's how I got all my knowledge. Green faces, rubber bands in my pocket. Street thugging, I don't need no. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Hardness Fitness. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how and why cardio isn't the most effective way to lose weight. Let's go. Seven more pounds. Let's get it. Five more pounds down today. Thanks to all that cardio, the weight's shitting off. Haven't lost any weight this week. Probably just hit what they call a plateau, but I'm gonna keep consistent with my cardio. And I'll let you know how much weight I lose next week. Third straight week and not losing any weight. I've been doing the same thing with my with my cardio for the longest. I lost a whole lot of weight initially, but now I'm not really able to lose any more weight. I don't know what the problem is. Um, maybe I should just try doing a little more cardio. Cardio up to a whole hour a day. Um, still haven't really lost much of any weight, maybe a pound or two um, since that initial big burst of that 10 pounds. I don't know what, what I'm doing wrong. I'm really just ready to give up on the whole process, honestly. All right, guys, so that reenactment kind of is what a lot of people go through that are just doing cardio workouts or cardio in their workouts. Um, you start to see this uh, rapid initial weight loss and you get all pumped up and excited. And then those returns start to diminish more and more and more. The more that you go, seems like the more you do, the less beneficial it is for you as far as cardio goes. And that's what everybody deals with. That's why a lot of times they stop. Um, I'm just gonna talk to you about how car or why cardio isn't the most effective way to lose weight. One is because most of the weight that you lose with cardio is initially just water weight. And if you're uh, nine times out of 10, if you're just coming in, you're doing straight cardio, chances are you're not really experienced in a lot of things. And if you're not experienced in exercise, you probably haven't exercised in a while. Therefore, you're probably uh, a little overweight, you're probably maybe, maybe even obese. So you have a whole lot of weight to lose initially. So it was gonna come off regardless of what you did. But now that you shed that water weight, you shed all of that excess fat that just comes with burning any calories in general that you probably weren't doing beforehand. Uh, now it's time to take it up a level and cardio just isn't gonna do that because it's so hard to progress with cardio. And that's the, the second reason that it's not the most beneficial. Um, if you're on a treadmill or an elliptical, you can only go so fast, you can only go for so long. Um, if you're burning calories at 30 minutes a day and you're not uh, losing any more weight and you decide to take it up to an hour, okay, you might lose a, a couple more pounds then, but what are you gonna do uh, when you stop losing pounds at that hour? Are you gonna take it up to an hour and a half? Are you gonna stay on the treadmill for two hours? Are you gonna take the speed to four miles an hour, five miles an hour, six miles an hour? Most people can't run that fast. Um, and it's not very beneficial. It puts a lot of strain on your joints and on your ligaments, things like that, because cardio does not build uh, much muscle at all, aside from the initial uh, muscle building that you'll gain from doing that running and doing that uh, jogging on the cardio machines. But in the long run, in the long scheme of things, it actually diminishes muscle mass, uh, which like I said, is gonna put a lot of strain on the joints, uh, a lot of banging, uh, that you would do on a treadmill, your feet, uh, your ankles, your hips, all of that are gonna be affected by you constantly running and banging your feet on this treadmill. And it just doesn't provide good long-term health if that's your be-all, end-all to your um, exercise regimen and to your weight loss goal. Weight training is the best way to go as far as losing weight goes because um, 
You can get on a treadmill or an elliptical, whatever you prefer to use. And yeah, you might burn 300 calories there on the treadmill, uh, as opposed to maybe 150 calories uh, burned in an hour of a moderate intensity weight session. But the difference between those two is, as soon as you hop off that treadmill, you won't burn another calorie for the rest of the day. Uh, when you weight train, you're burning calories all throughout the day, all throughout the next day, because it's taking your body crucial energy uh, to build up uh, your muscles that you tore down during your workout. And if you keep this process consistent, you're gonna build more muscle mass, and more muscle mass is gonna help you to burn more fat in the long run. Uh, more muscle mass is going to help your metabolism increase, which is going to uh, speed up every process in your body, which is going to make your body uh, burn more calories, which is what you want anyway. You don't want to have to work for every single calorie to be burned. You want to be able to sit there and just have a higher resting metabolic rate, let your calories burn while you're not doing anything at all. Just have lean muscle mass. And it also just helps with uh, so many, fighting off so many different diseases like osteoporosis, uh, kind of reverses the processes of arthritis. It uh, helps bone density a whole lot. So as you get older, uh, you don't, you're not at such a risk for breaking bones and maybe things like hip replacements, knee replacements, um, rotator cuff surgeries, things that everybody typically deals with. Low back pain, if you have strong glutes which come from exercising those muscles, then you don't have to deal with it. Weight training is the best way to go as far as losing weight goes because um, you can get on a treadmill or an elliptical, whatever you prefer to use, and yeah, you might burn 300 calories there on the treadmill, uh, as opposed to maybe 150 calories uh, burned in an hour of a moderate intensity weight session, but the difference between those two is, as soon as you hop off that treadmill, you won't burn another calorie for the rest of the day. Uh, when you weight train, you're burning calories all throughout the day, all throughout the next day, because it's taking your body crucial energy uh, to build up uh, your muscles that you tore down during your workout. And if you keep this process consistent, you're gonna build more muscle mass, and more muscle mass is gonna help you to burn more fat in the long run. Uh, more muscle mass is gonna help your metabolism increase, which is gonna uh, speed up every process in your body, which is gonna make your body uh, burn more calories, which is what you want anyway. You don't want to have to work for every single calorie to be burned. You want to be able to sit there and just have a higher resting metabolic rate, let your calories burn while you're not doing anything at all. Just have lean muscle mass. And it also just helps with uh, so many, fighting off so many different diseases like osteoporosis, uh, kind of reverses the processes of arthritis. It uh, helps bone density a whole lot. So as you get older, uh, you don't, you're not at such a risk for breaking bones and maybe things like hip replacements, knee replacements, um, rotator cuff surgeries, things that everybody typically deals with. Low back pain, if you have strong glutes which come from exercising those muscles, then you don't have to deal with things like that. Um, and that's just what, what weight training does for you. All right, guys, there you have it. My reasons on why weight training is a much more beneficial um, weight loss goal or weight loss tool than cardio. If you want a, a program that helps you reach your goal, whatever it might be, whether it be weight gain, weight loss, uh, if you're an athlete, if you're looking to get to the next level, um, anything that you're looking to do, I can help you with. Just hit me up at hardensfitness at gmail.com. Let me know what you're trying to do. Uh, hit me up at, on Facebook, uh, like my business page, Hardens Fitness with three S's at the end, and just message me there. I can help you get started on your fitness journey. Future never dim. Bright lights hype me up. Y'all don't understand. Finna pipe it up. You can see the bowed up hand. That's a black power fist. Hugo on my wrist. Here to make a point. Nah, I ain't.